Hello friends and welcome again to Joanna's Creative Kitchen. I am your host and your cook, Joanna. So today, as promised, I'm going to show you how I'm going to put together my, um, my vegetables for my spring rolls. So I've bought this pack of spring rolls here um, from my Asian grocery market. And over here I have um, some cabbage, some Christophine. Um, in Trinidad we call it Christophine. And here in the uh, markets, they call it uh, chayote, I believe it is. Yeah, uh, It's a round green uh, vegetables. And I'll show you that in the second half of my video if uh, you're not familiar with this vegetable. Um, and here I have some stripped carrots and I have some stripped broccoli slow. So the slow of the broccoli, I stripped that down also because I don't want that to waste. So I usually use that in my vegetable cooking. Um, I have some chopped up um, celery leaf. I have some pimento peppers that I chopped up. Now these peppers are not hot, they're just for flavor. Um, so if you're looking for something with a little spice, you're gonna have to add some habanero or some uh, cherry peppers or so on. Um, here I only have a very little bit of um, uh, red and green peppers and I found some a few shiitake mushrooms in my fridge. So I'm just gonna throw that in also and I have garlic and of course seasonings. So I'm going to start putting together I'm going to start putting this together so you can see how I'm going to, uh, how the process for cooking is. So the first two vegetables I'm going to throw into my wok is <clears throat> the carrots and the slaw. Only because it has a little bit more bite on these, so I just wanted to cook a little bit more. And no, I'm not adding the um, garlic first because I don't want that to start to burn. So eventually I'll throw the garlic in um, the cook. Okay. And... It seems like a lot um, of vegetables, and that's fine. What I'm going to do with my um, with my spring rolls is that I'm going to make them out uh, individually, wrap them, and um, and put them back in my freezer so that when we want a spring roll, I could just take them out and fry them. That just eliminates all these work. Let's fry this. And I just put a little bit of oil in here, just regular um, vegetable oil. Sesame oil is not to be, not to cook with, that's just to add on the top for flavor and then just a very little bit of sesame oil you need when you're making this dish. a bit and the Christophine. So the colors coming together. Your two main ingredients for spring rolls would be cabbage and carrots. Um, because when you go to the restaurants, 90% of the times when you order an egg roll or spring roll, however it goes. Actually, these are egg rolls. And let me let me um clarify that. These are egg rolls. Spring rolls is the thinner wrapper. So with the spring rolls, I know in some of the restaurants they'll put the vermicelli, the clear uh, glass noodles in it. Not vermicelli, but the clear glass noodles, sometimes with mushrooms and stuff like that. And the egg rolls that you'll get at your um, your local Chinese uh, takeout, 
would just be um, shredded cabbage or um, a little bit more processed cabbage with carrot and well the pork or um, if it's vegetables, vegetables with pork, it's pork. So I know those are just two ingredients that they, they throw in there. But back home in Trinidad, when you order a spring roll or a good egg roll, you get all the vegetables in there. So I'm going to turn down the heat a little bit and just let this fry. So now I'm going to add in my garlic. Yep, all that garlic goes right in. I'm going to add the garlic. I'm going to add the um, celery in. up nice and good and leave it again to fry for a few minutes you can cook your vegetables how crunchy or how soft you like it I personally don't like my vegetables too crunchy and I don't like them too soft so just somewhere in between See the vibrant pretty colors we have here. Okay, now I'm going to start seasoning as I do. I have charming seasoning, the cheap brand charming seasoning. I'll put a sprinkle. And again, you average to your taste. I like this, the all purpose, so I'm going to add a little bit of the all purpose seasoning in there also. A little bit of this Chinese spice. So this has like five spice powder and stuff like that in there. Mmm. This smells amazing. The moment you put in these seasonings and it has all the flavors to blend in there, changes your look and your smell and your taste. And I can't stick to a recipe with this. I can never stick to a charming recipe because each time I make charming, it's always different. It's always some different um, vegetable I'll put in or the seasonings. But I guarantee you every single time I make it, it's really good. Because I usually would make this chumming also to eat with um, bread when I make homemade bread. So it's the stew chicken gravy or the stew chicken chumming and the hops bread. And for that, you want the vegetables to cook a little bit more. So now I'm going to add in the, just a few pieces of peppers. I'm not crazy about the peppers in there, but I just wanted a little bit of flavor and taste and color. And the mushrooms are in there, add a nice bite to it. And when I'm making chowming for bread, I don't put mushrooms in it. Just my preference. somebody who doesn't eat meat, the mushrooms will be a nice addition for the um, chumming and bread. I'm going to add in my chopped uh, peppers. Um, pimento peppers, they're 
seasoning peppers. Again, it's not spicy, it just has like a nice um, flavor. The ones, sometimes, if I'm lucky, I get some really nice, spicy, flavorful ones on Liberty Avenue. Um, but most of the times, they're just a nice addition, but they're not hot. Very rare, I'll get a hot one or a hot few. The pimentos back home, however, it's just oh, so amazing. The flavor, the taste. The um, smell, it's a little bit more pungent than the ones that we get here. So that's why when our family go home, and when I go home, I try to bring back a few. And put them in the freezer. Alright, so it's softening up nicely. So I'm just going to raise the heat a little bit. See, and it's having, it, it's... Um, pushing out some liquid that's from the vegetables and that's perfectly fine because that will all cook right into it it's releasing some liquid that's what I should have said now I know everyone might have their own view on this charming or how I make it but this is just my take and my vision of putting together a charming everybody's different Just to stay there a little bit. And now I'm going to drizzle in a little bit of um, sesame oil. That's it. Nothing more than that. It just adds that extra flavor at the end. Okay. So this is pretty much done. So I'll be back to show you how to wrap the um. Wow, smells good. How to wrap the egg rolls and how to fry them. Alrighty friends, so our vegetable charming is ready and my wrappers are um, taught out really well. So this is how you're going to place it on your board or on your surface. Dip your hands in a little bit of water. I'm just going to put it around this way. Alright, just moisten this a little bit here. And stop. And then you take a, a nice heatful amount of the vegetables and you put it right down here it's for fine two of the mushrooms oh to stick it in there also mm -hmm. all right so here's how we're gonna wrap the bottom you grab and it's a nice tight wrap don't be afraid it's not gonna pop wrap like that fold this in fold this in because you don't want this to open up when you're frying and you just nicely wrap it tightly look and these can just be tucked in or you can leave it once it's not open and it's not going to you don't see the vegetables sticking out don't worry because you don't want these to open up on you once you're frying them so over here over here I already wrapped a few so I'm gonna continue to wrap I'm gonna do another one and they're not coming out to uniform but that's fine I'm not complaining and actually i'm gonna do one more i'm gonna wrap one more so i can show you how it's done i put these seam side down so that it'll actually stick but i'm picking them up because i don't the vegetables are hot and it's kind of steaming on its own so let me um wrap another one and show you so get your wrapper put it like so add some water to the ends right like this Okay. And grab some veggies, a nice amount, sorry, and we just nice tightly wrap. One, two, you fold over, you fold over, and you just tightly wrap. There you go. Easy. See how this is sticking out like this? All you need to do is wet your fingers and fold it in. Just wet your fingers and fold them in. Very easy. So that you're in, you're ensuring that it doesn't pop open once it starts to fry. These are not going to pop open. Alright, so in two more minutes, I'll be back to show you how to fry these. Okay, friends. So I'm back to fry 
Um, I just made a few for now, spring rolls, just so I can finish up my show, um, my video, my show. <laughs> and here I have in a small pot some oil that's been heating up, so I'm, I'm going to kind of turn down the heat a little bit. And excuse my little black pot, but I love this pot. Fries everything without sticking. So, yes, I have a lot more, but I like this one. You know, you always have a favorite. But um, here I am about to start frying these. This one a little bit more because I don't want to see them popping open. So, we're going to put them um, seam side up. Okay. Yes, I have a fryer and I have a basket and I have all of those fancy gadgets, but I like to do these things sometimes old school so you see how nice they start to um, bubble up ah this one is lifting a little bit so that's what you have to be careful with when you're wrapping them to make sure that the seam is actually it has enough water to make them stick I know some people use a little um, egg white also they whip it up and they use a brush so that helps so you, you don't have to overdo these because remember it's just the wrapper that you're frying now because your vegetables and everything is already cooked with these you can add shrimp you can add um, ground chicken to your mixture sliced chicken you can do some beef pork whatever uh, meat mixture you like you can um, add to your chumming you can do the shrimp on the side and slice it in and then put it on the top yeah, my husband just came by. He's waiting for one. Everybody's getting hungry. Adam, are you hungry? Extremely. Especially for these, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, I want to finish fry them. And I'd like to cut open into one. So I can show my viewers how they're done. So are they getting that nice uh, golden brown color? That's what you want. You don't want them burnt. I've been asking, I've been asking to make these now for a while, and I have not made these in such a long time, but um, my store was closed, my store is closed, I don't know if they reopened yet, uh, I got these wrappers at H Mart, um, I'll do wontons another day, and show you, and next week is my my Jazzy's birthday, she turns uh, 21, so I'll be doing um, some steaks and I'll be sous vide my steaks. I'll be doing the sous vide technique, so I'll come back in with a video um, when I'm seasoning the steaks, when it's sous vide, um, how it's done, and once it's searing, I'll show you how that's, those are done also. And I'll be doing stuffed lobster and I'll be doing some... Um, lobster tails um possibly stuffed or scampi style and shrimp i haven't figured out what i want to do with the shrimp yet so i'm cooking up a feast next week for her birthday but i'll be doing some videos to show you how to put together some of those dishes also and i'll be doing some um herb garlic mashed potatoes and vegetables and i'll probably do some more comforters so that's next week's um episode all right, these are awesome. I love the color. I'm going to let them fry for like a 30 seconds more. You want to ensure that the wrapper on the inside where you fold it is fried and not slow. When that starts happening, that's your liquid from your chumming getting into your oil, seeping into the oil. So I don't want that and it's going to start burning everybody.
So there we have it. I'm going to fry these two. Put these last two to fry. And yeah, I don't want to get them. You okay? Yeah, I just hit my foot. I'm sorry. It's all right. Oh God, I'm burning my child. All right, let me show you what one of these look like when you cut it open. Here we go. Perfect. So we're just gonna put together a nice little dipping sauce for this. I have a Thai, the Thai chili sauce. I bought the bottle Thai chili sauce, so we'll probably have that with these. And there you go. Spring rolls. So if you have any questions, any comments, any concerns when you're making yours, please let me know. Don't hesitate to ask. Please like, subscribe, share. Thank you so very much for watching my videos, for liking, commenting, hitting me up, and uh, keeping in touch. I'll be back again, possibly this weekend, to show you all how to put together um, um, gulab jamun, which is weak, fat kurma. I'll be making a few for Eid this weekend. Um, gulab jamun for everybody is a little bit different, so I'll show you my version of, of Trini style gulab jamun. And um, I don't know what else I'm making this weekend, but I'll be back with some more videos this weekend. Everyone stay blessed and thank you so very much for watching. Take care.